today we'll be quickly going over the color grading for the Times Square edit that I made the other day. So there's two ways you can go about grading this clip. And one is what I used initially, which was using Dehancer. And the other way, just grading node by node to get a very similar look. The reason why I'm showing two is of course, not everybody has Dehancer. Dehancer can be a little bit expensive, hence why I'm also trying to show a way that you're able to create on your own for free. Quickly get into this. So what I'll do now is just get rid of all the nodes and we'll quickly start fresh. Press Alt S to create a new node, create four nodes. So one, two, three, four. Primary adjustments, Dehance plugin, global luck, and then sharpening at the end is we'll go to the second node, click effects, go all the way down to the bottom and you'll find Dehance Pro. If you have Dehance Pro, drag it over and you'll see the plugin get to work straight away. First thing you gotta do, we're gonna click source, choose camera, vendor, Sony, camera, Sony A7 free, and then HLG free for format. And you'll be able to see it adjust it. And the issue with most earlier Sony cameras is the magenta shift. So you can see there's a lot of magenta here. That's nothing to worry about too much. So what we're gonna do is go into the profile. It's already been chosen, which is Kodak Vision Free 250D. There are more other profiles that you can play with, but for this look, we did choose Kodak Vision Free 250D. And then the next thing we can do, uh, the print tab, so we can go and increase our exposure, maybe decrease the contrast a bit. So as you can see at the bottom here, the blacks are clipping and the whites are very close to clipping as well. So what we can do is instead of using these settings here, we can go back into the primary adjustment and adjust those because the information will all be in that primary adjustment. And if you try to fix it here, it'll just get a little bit messy. And then all we're gonna do is you go to the left, drag the lift up a bit. So the blacks are not clipping as much, bring down the gamma, Bring down the gain. Here, just expose your clip to the point where you want it to look. So if I just leave this here-ish, that's all right. I might drop the gamma down a bit, bring the lift up a bit, that's all right. And then the other thing we're gonna do in the primaries is use it as a white balance adjuster. So in Dehance, you do have a temperature and tint control. In this primary node, all I'm gonna do is go to the offset, shift the offset towards the blues, shift the offset away from magentas, um, usually shift it towards the green, but I'm just trying to create this look really quickly. So I'm just gonna shift the offset towards the blue. So not towards, not too much towards the blue purpley, cause you still get that magenta color, but towards more of the aqua and blue. And you can see if I turn this node off and on, you can see the difference already in the shifting color. So that's looking good. The next thing we can do is go back to your second node, go down to your print again, and on color density, shift it all the way to 100, and you'll see all the colors come through, mostly the reds in this case. And then what we're gonna do is go to color heads, go to the cyan red, shift that bit towards the blue. That's looking good. And all we're gonna do for this clip is take the grain off. So we have no grain applied on this clip. Then we're just gonna click on effects up here, Turn that off, click on node number three, which is our global adjustments. And all we're gonna do is create the final look. So all we're gonna do is I'm gonna drop the gain a lot on the gamma. I'm gonna shift this again towards the blue, drop the gamma, increase the lift a little bit just so the blacks are not clipping too much. I don't mind if they do clip, it's a, it's a nighttime clip. It doesn't really matter too much. I want some detail within the shadows so I don't want them fully clipping out. We have this look, which is looking nice. want to shift the color even more you can go into your gain shift that towards the blue so that'll shift the highlights a bit the only thing that kind of annoys me with this clip is what you can see right now is the magentas so when obviously the lights are purple anyways i think it's just because with having to fix so much of the magenta shift with sony cameras i've kind of just began to dislike the color just dislike the color magenta therefore what we're going to do is come to this the color warper and then we're gonna go this color here, this magenta, and we're gonna shift it towards the blues. So that'll make it a bit more green, but we'll get rid of that magenta a bit. Shift it towards the blue. Same with these purples, same with these reds, just decrease the magenta. So, so if you move this towards the edge of the hex skin, it'll 
increase the saturation and if you take it towards the middle it'll desaturate the image it'll automatically give you this eyedropper tool so wherever you hover your mouse it'll select where it thinks the color is on the hexagon and then you can just click and then just drag wherever you want so even if i wanted these blues to be um you know more purpley you can do that create like a i don't know blade runner type s neon vibe How, whatever you want to go for you can go kind of crazy with it um but I wouldn't advise it um, unless you're going for a very stylized look. So what I'm going to do is shift these magentas towards the center. So that will decrease their saturation a bit. And then also shift the reds down as well because reds do have magenta within them. So now if I do a before and after with this node, you can see the magentas kind of really died down and we've brought in that blue, which looks really nice. So if I play this now, you can see we've got that nice blue tone. Um, highlights looking good and everything looks nice. If you wanted to add a bit more contrast, you might want to do that. Shift the color towards a different area. You can easily do that. Everything's there. Really easy to do. And that's with the answer. So now you've got your look. Everything's a bit more bluey, a bit more cinematic, let's call it. A bit of that orange and tealy kind of look, with, especially with the skin tones coming out a little. Um, and yeah, so that's with the answer. And now we'll do it without the answer. This time, we're going to do a very similar thing again. We'll create maybe four, five nodes. So one, two, three, four, five. First node is we'll just have white balance. Second node we'll have as contrast. Third node, we'll just put global look, uh, major adjustments. And then fourth node will be sharpening. I don't think we'll need a fifth node, to be honest. So let's just get rid of that. So we'll only need four nodes because um, I just want to show you how to get it in a very quick and easy way. With HLG, you don't really often have to do too much, especially when it's a landscape, which I'll consider this rather than a portrait where skin tones have to be more perfect looking. In the first node, all we're going to do is with the Sony a7 III and the other Sony cameras, you get a shift in magenta. So all we're going to do is go to offset and shift that toward the green a bit. We remove some of that magenta shift. So if you look at it before and after, so if I full screen before, after, you just kind of it kind of fixes the colors a little bit. So the next node is contrast. So we'll just steep up the contrast a bit and then we'll use the pivot. If you increase the pivot, you're gonna be affecting more of the image. And if you decrease the pivot, you're gonna be, you're gonna be affecting less of the image. So if I decrease the pivot, we'll only be hitting the dark areas. So about there is fine. Maybe increase the contrast a bit more. That's good. We will add a secondary node. We'll have five nodes. So if I add one more node here, by pressing Alt-S, you can add another node. This will just be our exposure fix, let's just say. So I'm going to bring down the gain a bit. So as you can see, they were clipping over here. Um, so I'm going to bring down the gain a bit. And then bring down the gamma. And then bring up the shadows a bit. Just to make sure nothing is clipping too much. In the next node, in four, we'll create our luck. So what we can do is go to the gamma push that towards the blue and you can go pretty hard with this and then we'll also drop the gain and we'll, on the offset we'll also push it towards the blues a bit a lot of the time you've just got to keep pushing things around and then you'll be able to kind of identify oh i need to do this to fix this and with just more practice it just becomes a lot easier so with gamma you can decrease with gain you can decrease so if we look at the other clip that we had, so it was that clip, that one is a much greater shift in blues. So if I look at this and then we look at this clip, the main difference really, if we look between the two clips, is that the highlights in the clip that we're editing now is white, but the highlights in the other clip are more bluey. So what we can do to fix that is in, again, uh, node number four, so our global adjustments node, you can go into your log nodes, your, your log wheels, and then go to your highlights and drop those. And as you can see, that will only affect the boards really. And then shift the highlights towards a blue or a greeny color. So if I shift it loads, you'll be able to see the color of the highlights does change a lot. So if I shift that towards the blues, drop them, compare it. I believe the other clip has a bit more contrast, so all we'll do is come here, back to you, node 2, go over here, uh, and then increase the contrast, increase the pivot a bit, and then go to our third node, just ex fix the exposure a bit. Go back to your fourth node, use the offset 
to give more of a overall shift in color to the whole image and shift that also towards the blue to the color warper select the red shift that up because the reds in the other one are a bit more vibrant so we'll leave there as that so now if we look at the other clip and this clip we actually need to turn down the contrast a bit so now if you look at before and after it is kind of similar not entirely so the last thing we need to do for both clips which i forgot to show you is uh, sharpening so if we click uh, the last node here go on to this icon which is blur go to the radius and decrease to like 0.47 that usually works quite nice and then I've done the same for this one as well so you do get kind of a similar look for both and then you can just kind of play around with that the answer has sped up my workflow for client work so much because you can get really cool lux really quickly both commercial lux and film lux and it's great same with cine print 16 which is another plugin that you can get which is a lot cheaper uh which is what i'm using to grade this clip on that you're seeing now hi uh but yeah if you found this helpful thank you uh you don't have to like but if you do sick but um yeah have a good day